Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 80 of FTB Interactions, where I whoosh, am heading back to this here planet. What's this one called again? I forget. Oh, there's still a Crimson Praetor around here somewhere that I never found. I assumed, I assumed, probably wrongly so, that the Crimson Praetor, let's see, let's see if we can map out like where he might be. So, I mean, he's, like, pretty centered on my portal, to be fair. I assumed the Crimson Praetor was part of that dungeon that I was in. So let's see if we head off in this direction. Not terrible. So I'm going to say, like, generally around here. -ish. This is where I'm This is where I'm planting my... I think there's a Crimson Praetor beneath me. Um, it's episode 80. I'm back on this here planet. Last episode, we explored the dungeon. I wouldn't mind finding this Crimson Praetor. Remember, kids, never dig straight down. It's super dangerous. Well, that was unsuccessful. This looks like it's uh, promising, at least. Do I have my blood lamp sigil? I do. Good, good, good. I'm just going to explore this little dark area here. I see you, skeleton. And you got nothing on the dire. Just got to just got to see if this crimson praetor is available for me to kill. That would be nice. Um, I want to kill that dragon today too, if I if I may. I want to see if there's anything good in the dragon layer thing. Why are there just like random Oh, hello. Is this my, uh, nope. Still not a Crimson Praetor here. What is shooting me? Oh, there you are, Mr. Skeleton. Hello! Um, yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff down here, isn't there? Interesting, uh, interesting underground-y area, I would say. Still no idea where this Crimson Praetor might be, but, you know, one can look around and hope. I'm seeing on my map there's a red dot, so I feel like one of those might be the Crimson Praetor. I just have no idea, like, what Y level he's at, right? Not a clue. Not a clue. Interesting. Definitely some mob spawner stuff happening here. I'm not even paying attention to what those mob spawners are. I'm just like, break them! I don't want mob spawners. Uh, not feeling 100% confident here that I'm going to run into this dude. I was hoping that, like, it would be obvious and easy to find him, but clearly not. Like, if I'm looking at my map, he must be above me, right? And further above me? Oh, there's a chest under these things. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Cool. Spawn slime. I mean... Okay, don't mind if I do. I didn't realize there were chests underneath these spawners, that makes sense. Spawn silverfish. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would I ever want that? Pass on that one. I mean, I'll put it I'll put it in the thing just in case there's a reason for it at some point in the future, but I don't ever see a situation where I would want to spawn silverfish. Maybe I'm crazy. So where is this Crimson Praetor dude? I would say, oh, that's an item actually. Are those item entities laying around? The red dots? Oh, they are. Alright, cool. Well, if that's the case, then I have no idea where this Crimson Praetor is. I see some yellow things. I'm assuming those are bats. Spawn zombies. Okay. I like that you get spawn eggs from these chests. It seems pretty reliable that you'll get spawn eggs from these chests. Just doing a little exploration today, you know? I mean, we've done a lot of episodes, and I mean a lot of episodes of, like, let's automate all the things. I feel like exploration episodes would not be bad. Plus, it's fun to explore a whole other area. Now, what's this over here? Because this looks like a thing. This is definitely something. Red granite. Okay. Is this just, like, a different type of world gen? I was hoping it was some kind of dungeon. But it would appear not. It would appear not. There's lots of colored dots on the map, of which I do not know what they are. I'm like half looking at the map as I run around and half not. 
still Crimson Praetors around here somewhere, and just no idea. Oh my. Oh my, that was a creeper. Now what I'm probably going to do in a minute is slash home, and then, you know, come back. Because I want to take out that dragon for sure. That is on my to-do list, is check out that dragon situation and what we can do about him. Whee! That's a lot of water right there. And a lot of lava. Man, I love this pickaxe. Slash drill, slash whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's technically a pickaxe, right? Alright, slash home it is. Counting down and go. Sweet. Just so that I can easily make my way out of that cave. So that I can then go back. And I'm just going to put away all the junk that I accumulated in here. Hey, guess what I did between episodes? If you guessed, that's neat, that I made some eggs, like canola eggs and ventium chickens and all this stuff, like, then you'd be correct. Um, I've been processing ventium ore, which I have now finished processing, which means I should probably get a little bit more. But I'm with all this Ventium junk in here. But uh, the exquisites that you need for the Ventium chickens are super rare. Uh, it's around 1% chance. Now, I could also use those exquisites. I thought, maybe it's not exquisites that I need. Is it flawless that I need? Oh, it's flawless that I need. So actually, I can make mana chickens now, I think. Uh, we need resonating gems, which we know how to make. Uh, we need mana dust, which is this. But remember, like, these things you can get from centrifuging primal enriched eggs which need primal chickens, uh, which I think we can also make right now, right? So that needs vitriol solution. Uh, it needs mana dust. Smart chicken. Yeah, so like, all I need to do is get mana dust from the core components here, of which we can make some of these already. I think maybe even all of them. Get a couple mana dusts. Do we even have those? We might even have those. I forget if I made them yet. Nope, doesn't see any. Uh, and then we could make those chickens too, and that would be super cool. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's lots... And I mean lots of stuff to do here. But I want to check out this dragon. Because I feel like a dragon layer might be fun to take on today. Does that sound like a good plan? I mean, I'm just I'm just peeking in this in this cave area here. Let's try taking on this dragon and see how bad of an idea this is with my current armor situation. I'm like half full on leggings, so I should be alright. So I'm gonna take him on. Let's Let's see what happens. Hey, buddy. Wanted you to know I'm here. Oh, boy. What is that thing? That is a projectile of sorts that I don't want to get hit with. It's going to be one of those fights, huh? Where I'm on fire the entire time. And I have no idea how much health he has left. Or that was quick. <laughs> that happened way faster than I, I I expected that to be a much more uh, protracted fight right there. That was not so bad. All right, can we can we can we be done with? The, okay, cool. I was about to fly into that lake. Hello, ice and fire dragon. So I think I want to shift right click him, and that will give me all of his loots. Ooh, Fire Dragon Heart. Now, does this one turn into Dragon Forge Fire Core? Oh, that sounds cool. Ha ha! So a tier... Oh, six. Never mind. I was hoping that, like, the Draconic... Like, because other packs I've seen it where you can just, like, straight up craft this into this. <laughs> Apparently not. You need a tier six altar, which is, whoo, serious business. Oh my goodness, why is it so dark? Is it nighttime on this planet? Ugh, I hate nighttime. Tiny pile of uranium dust. Well, that's cool. I guess that's an indication that there's ore underground there. But I wanted to check out... I'm going to, like... Fire Dragon Flesh. Mmm, protein. Dragon Skull stuff. Super cool. Let's pop over to here and see what kind of loots might be in our dungeon layer. So, I mean, not exciting. Not exciting. Lots of iron and gold, which is a little bit yawn. Um, in fairness, though, there is... Hey. Some manuscript, so if I decide I want to do some ice and fire stuff, that'll be useful. I think those iron chain link things are super easy to make. They were in the last pack. No, they're still super easy to make. I'm not even going to waste my time collecting them. 
This is probably all gold nuggets, which is also kind of a waste of time. I was hoping that there would be, like, better loots from this dungeon. You know, like, dungeon, uh, heavy air quotes on dungeon, right? Like, it's not, it's not, it's not truly a dungeon, obviously, but I was hoping that, like, there would be better things from here. Um, let's do that. Seems like a good idea. I want to do a little bit more exploring of this planet just to see what else might be around here. Like maybe another one of those dungeons, uh, if we can find one. Obviously, pretty standard mob spawning happens here. You know what else I want to do while I'm here? I would like to collect more of this stuff. Just a little bit more Vintium. So I processed a bunch of it. I think like two-ish stacks. Oh my goodness, guys, please can we not with the spider jockeys and the creepers and like, you know, they're killing me. What I want to do is like mine up some ore. And I recognize it's nighttime. Monsters want to kill me. Just, it's a hassle. Leave me alone, guys. I'm just mining. Um, so I processed a lot of this Vintium ore. Uh, I, I'm just going to grab a little bit, like another stack-ish of it, just to have on there. Uh, let me fly around a little bit more here, though. I'm just going to finish up one stack of this. I don't think you can vein mine this. We tested that, right? Yeah, definitely not. I just tried. You can't tell because you can't see my keyboard, but trust me, I was holding the button. Oh, look, another dragon. Oh, and he looks very unhappy. Hello, sir. He's like, what? And I'm like, yep, that's right. From a distance, I'm whittling you down. I have no idea how much health you've got, but oh, I think I just killed him. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. Sorry, Ice and Fire Dragon, but you know. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Now, I think it's fair to assume that like we're not going to find anything of interest over here, right? Because we, we, we looted one of these dungeons to basically no excitement. So, I can't wait for everybody to tell me it's not a dungeon, Direwolf. I mean, it kind of is. Now, is this blue vitriol liquid or is this something else? Because it looks very green, but maybe that's just my, my, my filter, right? Because I've got night vision, right? Do we think this is blue vitriol or what? Uh, yeah. No, it definitely is. Okay, good to know. Sweet. That's cool. Alright, let me, again, put away all my junk. Including the marble. Should probably put the chickens away. Oh, I didn't mean to put the, the sigil away, but... <laughs> oh boy, one of those dudes. You're not all fine. I, I love the, the laser creeper robot dino things. That's a hilarious mod that I should really look into, like, what I can make with the things from that mod. Because I've killed a handful of them, and they spawn not infrequently. But I should absolutely look into what that mod has available to me now. Because I'm assuming since they're spawning, then I can, you know, use their stuff for something. I just don't know what. What else have we got on this planet? Anything? Lots of these little islandy areas, so that's kind of cool. Just doing a little bit of world gen right before I back up the world. Target locked. Yes, I know, Creeper. I just want these loots. Is my armor leggings out of power? I need a battery is what I need. Uh, no, they're still pretty good. I felt like I was moving slow for a second. Alright, is there anything else worth exploring on this planet? Like this blue grass versus this green glass. That's interesting, right? It's all just grass. I think it's just the... Whatever this tree is, this lightwood tree, is uh, interesting. Should look that up and see what it does. Lightwood leaves and planks. Anything special about them? No, it's just the light well. I don't see anything particular. Cobalt. Eh. Nothing in particular, folks. Alright. I'm going to spend just a few more minutes off camera flying around this, this, this planet. And if I find anything worth showing you, I will. But I, I expected the dragon to be a little bit tougher, but he wasn't, so that's okay. Uh, I now 
And I'm not sure if there's anything else to find. I mean, there's obviously dungeons and stuff still. We'll maybe find them. But uh, at least we already did one of them, so that's cool. So if I do another one, it might not be a bad idea. We'll find out. All right, so let's look at this. I'm going to ramp up my chicken stuff a little bit. We got the Vintium chicken, which is cool, right? And that's the one that gets me these things. I'm just going to put those along with the... I'm going to hang on to them, I think. I think that's a good idea. Let's hang on to these things. Probably between episodes, I'll work on, like, installing them somewhere and deciding what I'm going to do with them, right? At the point that I need a lot of those resources is when I will decide to jump on board, right? So I've got Canola. I've got Vintium. Uh, primal looks good and mana looks good to get, right? So mana is this stuff, right? Needs mana dust, right? And primal is what's going to get me mana dust, right? Like primal will get me primal enriched eggs, which get me the resources to make mana dust. Uh, kind of cool, right? Um, I think, yes. Along with deuterium, by the way. I'm just saying deuterium sounds like something we're going to want in the future. So... All the, all the thermal foundation dusts will come from this. So let's focus on the primal chicken first. So that's just going to be a couple mana dusts, a smart chicken, an infused enderpearl, and an infinity reagent, which we've made before because I had one. Uh, so I just need to make it again. So that doesn't look too bad, right? Um, let's, let's, let's look at this. So infinity dust, we're going to want some of you. Dangerous. I think I saw nocturnal powder in that recipe. Was that right? Um, let's 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 add this and this to the list of to dos, right? Uh, no graphite dust, obsidian dust, medium covalence dust, right? So medium covalence dust, graphite dust, obsidian dust, and then that tiny blood shardy thing. Simple power catalyst. And let's get our Astral Wand. Whee! So this... Oh, I'm missing an extra graphite dust. Well, I'll just request one, because I'm sure I've got some somewhere. Or it's craftable, right? Um, Graphite ingots are craftable. So I can request that and then macerate it, I guess? I forget. I'm sure that there's, like, a thing... Where are you coming from, buddy? Are you are you stuck? Is that what's happening here? This is that situation where this thing gets stuck all the time. Default route, yes. Where, pray tell, would graphite be coming from? Is there some in here? Yeah, he just didn't request. Okay, still being a little bit funky, isn't he? I think I have a macerator that's HV, don't I? Or is it MV macerator? There you go. Beautiful. Now we can make the infinity reagent, which is going to be good. And once I have these chickens covered, I think that's going to lead into the next bit of, of processing that we're going to want to be able to make. So primal chicken will get us access to mana dust, basically a ton of it. And I'm guessing that's going to be really important for us, but we'll find out. Okay, so that has you covered. Now, the mana dust itself needs unstable mana, so five buckets worth of it, right? So let's get some reservoir. We've got a reservoir with regular mana and 6,000 unstable mana. So it looks to me like... Now, Now here's the thing. Can I make mana now? A mana-enriched egg comes from the mana chicken. Is that what I got on my to-do list? Yes. So soon I'll be able to automate this mana, which means I'll also be able to automate... Um, this mana, unstable mana, which just needs more simple power catalysts. Um, so that'll be cool, right? So I've got the catalysts. We're going to want some redstone, right? Because that was what unstable mana needs. And then a little bit of ethanol. But we're also going to want to go pick up in the world um, some, some mana mana. Now, unstable mana, we need 10 buckets of mana to 5 buckets of unstable. So... Frankly, if I go pick up and fill up this container of mana that I've got right now, we should be cool. Right, that's 10 buckets worth? Yes. That looks good. So then you, with one bucket of ethanol, will be what's up, right? So you're the mixer. How about I just use a higher tier mixer? 
because I've got one of those laying around, right? So you, one bucket of ethanol, which I th think we've got down here, right? Isn't this where ethanol is? Yes. Thank you. And then you, and then you. And that's not terrible. All right, now while you're mixing, you've got six buckets and you've got none. So I don't have enough to fit in here because that's only 10. So we'll use both of these in a minute. So the mana dust needs two sets of, of five, right? So that we can make the primal chicken because we need 10, right? So let's see what other dusts we've got in here and we might need to make a few. So that'll be the big thing, right? So we're gonna want two cryotheum, two pyrotheum, two aerotheum, and two petrotheum, right? So for this, we need basalt's powder. So let's um, see what the deal is with making that. Uh, basalt's powder can be made in our chemical bath with two obsidian dust and 200 experience. Two obsidian dust and 200 experience. So I'm probably gonna need to add that. Well, I don't even know if I should waste my time adding it here because as I mean, we're not gonna need it anymore, right? So let's just get some obsidian dust and hopefully you're behaving, right? Oh yeah, you are, look at that, cool. Right, so give me four obsidian dust and just a little bit of experience. And then I'll just break and replace the thing in a bit, probably, is what I'll wind up doing. I have no idea what quest I just completed, by the way, but that sounds cool. Uh, this guy. Well, no, wait, which one is it? The... the, the, the. Basalt needs a chemical bath. Aha, that's right, chemical bath. Where are you at? I know I have one around here somewhere. Autoclave, chemical reactor, chemical bath. Nice. There you are, sir. Cool. So now if I put the basalt powder away, like that, we should be able to request to petrothium dust now. Sweet. And you are apparently working, yes? Something's happening down there. Nice. There it comes. All right. And then we can get mana dusts from the four of those. So that would be you. And that's in a mixer. Mixer, 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 mixer. That would be this guy. So you guys all together, plus that, Sweet, that worked. And that's gonna get me my mana dust times two, which is cool. Beautiful. And that is never gonna need to be happening again because all those resources are now automatically gonna be created by my primal chicken, which is awesome. And then unstable mana will soon be automated. So that's a quest complete. So what quest did I just complete there? Uh, that would be space. That got me the life stone. Sweet. Restores both hunger and hearts. Half a heart and shank every 30 seconds. Okie dokie. That's, I mean, I don't super need that right now, but it's nice to know. Cool. So now that we've got the two of those, so the primal chicken now is those two, that, and an infused ender pearl and some blue vitriol. Now infused ender pearls are ender pearl, eight dimensional shards, and a glowstone. All right, so glowstone, ender pearl, and dimensional shards times eight, which as I recall, I get these generally speaking from the nether. So uh, is there another way to get them? I mean, we can craft it with that, but that sounds <clears throat> to me. Uh, and you can centrifuge infinity eggs to get them. Well, that's probably not a thing that I'm gonna expect to happen anytime soon. So whoop, that's cool. Now I just need some blue vitriol, which is, I think I've got some, right? I actually have that one bucket's worth in here. So again, mixer, right, is where we get our primer metal, yeah. So that would be you here, and these two, this, the infinity reagent, and a 10, 10, 10 chicken that I forgot to grab. So that would be, go. Nice, all right. Primal chicken off the list. We just did it, guys. 
that's cool beans right there. So that means no more need for a primal chicken. Mana chicken's next, but the recipe for that needs mana dust, which I can now get from the primal chicken that I just made. So, you know, that's cool. All right, so what I'm going to do off camera now is breed the primal chicken up to 10, 10, 10. Task complete. All right. And once bred to 10, 10, 10, I will uh, get him cooking and placed in a thingy somewhere. And then maybe I'll set up. So the primal chicken is going to do what? I forget. Uh, primal chicken makes primal enriched eggs. Yes, just validating. Yep. And that's going to, in a centrifuge, make these things. So that's probably what I want. Uh, now I could also do this to get primal mana, which is kind of cool. And if you know, a lot of this is already like stuff we have. I have helium, right? Did I do helium? I can't remember. But primal mana is a thing that we're going to have access to super soon. And that's kind of cool. That gets me access to dark matter. And it's also going to be used for making the infinity chicken, which looks really like not even close to even close to being available to me yet. But still, it's a thing. Uh, I'm coming out here to get more wheat for seeds and whatnot. So that's cool. So I'll come back in a few minutes here after I've bred the chicken up and done some other menial off camera work. And then we'll get working on the meta chicken. All right, guys, we are back and things are happening. So what have I done in between those cuts there? Uh, I placed my turbo centrifuge. I put some primal chickens in there, which is going well. Uh, they're producing the dusts. I've got a quick sort module in the back, so it's sucking all the dusts out of there. And then the helium or deuterium that's being produced is being piped into here. And I've got a logistics fluid provider pipe there. So long story short, uh, we've got deuterium production going on, and then I'm throwing all this stuff into drawers up here with some void upgrades. And the other thing I did as a note is I turned off overclocking, which will slow down the machine a little bit and therefore make it cost less energy. So like, I don't think that we need that running at full speed. Uh, and because it's just gonna be like a passive production thing, I think that's kind of a neat approach to just saying like, eh, we don't have to worry about this. It's all good, let her run. So now my mixer is currently mixing up some unstable mana, which is fun, and that is cool. I'm gonna pop you in there uh, with these four, and that'll cook me up the two mana dust that we need to now make a mana chicken. So this chicken is gonna make that wizardry mana that we've been getting from pools in the world, which is awesome, because that will now become an unlimited resource for us. Right? So that's what I'm working towards. I also crafted some resonating gems, spent a little bit of time. I think my mana pools outside are nice and empty because I'm refilling my tablet there, you can see. So yeah, that was a thing. Um, what else is up? What else is up? I don't know, I think that's about it. So you're done, you're done, you're done. So my next task is mana chicken. So that's two flawless Vintium, which I should have because flawless Vintium is not quite as rare as the exquisite, right? Exquisite was like super rare. I got one of those from like two stacks of Vintium, but flawless is 4% chance. So I had like 10 of those laying around. Uh, but we should of course, um, you know, have an extra one because we're doing some very high instability here. Four resonating gems, two mana dust. I'm gonna just cross my fingers that it goes well. I'm not gonna make extra resonating gems, nor will I make extra mana dust. If it goes poorly, shame on me. Right, shame on me. But let's do some infusion crafting. So you, one, two, one, two. And I'm just gonna hope that if it does go poorly, it's the Vintium that gets destroyed. Now, uh, the other thing we need to worry about here is a little bit of this stuff down at the bottom. So I need 64 Potentia. I generally have a lot of that. We're good, good on 64 Potentia. We need 48 Procantio, 48 Precantio, we've got 16. Uh, so I have to remember how Precantio. What did I find that was good at making that stuff? What did I find that was good at making that stuff? Precantatio, Wither Bones and Dragon Bones have a little bit. I was hoping for a little bit more than that, if I'm being honest, a little bit more than that. Precantatio, Quicksilver, or that's oh, a blank lesser focus, that's not Quicksilver, my bad. What was it that, I mean, I, I really need to like start like a spreadsheet where every time I play a new pack, I'm like, oh, right, these are the things. I think Mana Steel would be cool, right? Because that's easy to get, isn't it? Yeah, I can get Mana Steel. I should have a bit of that. I should be able to pull that off. Mana Steel, what do you got on you, buddy? Uh, Yeah, I mean, that should be a good amount, right? I mean, it's gonna have a little bit of extra iron, but I think that's like a pretty good way 
to do things. So that should be enough of that stuff. And then Volatus, the feather. Volatus, the feather. Where are you at, buddy? Ghosts. Feather, Volatus. We're going to need more Volatus. Uh, I know feathers are the obvious. The obvious thing there is feathers. Arrows also tend to have a little bit. Um, and arrows is cool because we got a lot of those, right? But feathers and arrows. So if we have a handful in the AE system, we'll grab them. I mean, we got enough. That should be cool, right? Yeah, that should be cool. That's going to be like well over 50. Cool. So you're good. Now we're good on Volatus. And the last one is Ender. 16 Alienus. The Ender Pearl one. Yeah, we got 50. We should be good. We should be good. All right, so as soon as Volatus hits where we want it to be, let's punch it. Let's go. Very stable. Stay stable. Volatus is cooking in. We got the we got the little things happening. We got the stuff. One of these days I gotta look at like how he did that. Like this I don't understand. I don't think these are particles, are they? They might be They might be particles? But like a very interesting looking particle. Like how did he make it look so cool? And all connected. Because generally particles are like one little flip, right? So how did he do that? Now now that I've been like make uh oh, dangerously unstable, that's not good. Come on, buddy, let's go. We got the mana pearls out of there, so that's cool. Come on, unstable. I think we're pulling it off. I think we got lucky. The instability only knocked the items off. It didn't destroy them. So woot, mana, chicken, task, complete. Unlimited mana for the dire. That is what's up. That is exciting. So breed those chickens, go. Yes. So what I was saying is that like, as I've been like working on my own mods now, like when I look at things in game, I'm like in my brain, I'm like, how was that done? So, like that's obviously just like he did this or he did that, right? There's a few things in Thongcraft I still look at. And I'm like, how in the world? I don't even like know at a conceptual level how that's accomplished. I'm sure it's probably a particle. It might be an entity, but it's probably a particle. But still it's like, wow, that is stinking cool. That is stinking cool is what I have to say about Azanor's work. Always beautiful. Always beautiful work. All right, so I'm going to breed up these bad boys and we'll be back. Because, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And that's a 10-10-10 mana chicken. Sweet. So this guy produces mana enriched eggs, which can either turn into mana powder pretty easily. Which is, I mean, I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It's not super exciting, but it's still nice. But then also in a light well can produce mana. So I think our goal now should be like, let's make a light well real quick. Uh, so remind me how light wells work. Them's is... We need a basic lens from Rocketry. We need some... So we need two iron plates, a couple ruined marble. So get me the two of these. A couple of ruined marble. Actually, three ruined marble and two chiseled. Right. And then we're gonna need a rock crystal and a basic lens. That would be you, that would be you, that would be, that's fine. And then we can use this out in the back where we have the other things going on, right? So that would be your turn to make this. Hooray! Cool. All right, light well, ready to go. So in the back here, I've kind of got this little light well system up and running. Now you, sir, have been doing my liquid nightmares. Um, it's been a little while. I think what I might do is move him to be here in front of it. Does that sound smart-ish? Um, and you were configured to insert on brown is what you were. So you should probably be extract on brown, right? I would think. Uh, 
So that would insert into there, right? Um, and now we have room for another light well, right? Uh, and then that chicken is going to be producing what we want them to. So let's get a roost. And that looks cool. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Uh, we've got our stack of chickens over here. Almost stack of chickens. Let's get them, like, you know, the proper amount. I always make one more than I need and keep them in here. So you'll notice I've always got, like, one or two more chickens of every breed just in case something, like, what if a creeper shows up, right, and blows up my chickens? That would be a sad day for the dire wolf. Now, he needs a line of sight to the sky, I believe. So we, we definitely want this dude here. So what I'm going to do is we'll pop down another one of these, and you will be insert on blue, not extract. And you will be extract on blue, if I can sneak into there. Always active, and then we pop this dude in, he gonna make the thing, and then you're gonna make mana. Yeah? Look at that, liquid mana, beautiful. Now let's go get a tank over here. Thank you. Uh, and I'm not sure how much mana I'm going to want, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to hold a lot of that in reserve. Having, like, a large amount of mana just sitting around sounds like a smart idea to me. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to wire this up uh, between episodes and get ready for next episode where I figure out what we're doing next. So I know having that stuff is going to be useful. I think one of the next tasks we're going to want to accomplish is making an end rod because an end rod is required for the FTB quest beginning of the end, which is how you get to the end. So in order to make an end rod, like Evil Tears, I think we've got most of this stuff, though I'm not sure about Indy, I'm off to look into that. High covalence dust doesn't look terrible. Um, especially, yeah, I have no idea, but it looks pretty straightforward. But an end rod is the next big goal. Having an end rod equals getting to the end equals next major progression point for us, right? That's the next dimension to check out. It requires um, a lot of resources. It requires some phantom bridge reagents, uh, empowered void crystals. Oh boy, can't wait for that one. Um, phantom bridge crystals actually don't look terrible. Uh, Flawless Ventium, we just saw how that wasn't terrible, so that's cool. End Stone, which is easy. End Stone is made in, with Starlight Transformation of Moon Turf. So I just literally take the Moon Turf that I've got and throw it in the Starlight Guy and he'll make a bunch of End Stone for me. So making an End Rod doesn't look bad. Unless I'm missing something. Unless I'm missing something, it doesn't look bad. Our next goals are to go to the end, kill the Ender Dragon, get the Dragon Heart, probably some ores and stuff in the end to explore. And then we'll see where our next goals are. Uh, at some point, we might need to get into LUV tier with Greg Tech and all that. So we'll have to see what that's all about. But for now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Uh, I'm going to get the world download ready here. I know I've been, like, not great about world downloads, and I apologize for that. Um, I keep backing them up and then, like, not getting around to uploading them to CurseForge for you guys. So I will endeavor to fix that and get these world downloads up for you guys. But for now, like I said, wrapping up point. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode and take it easy.